Welcome to the Application Testing Suite video training series. This is a video recording of Application Testing Suite introduction. My name is Yutaka Takatsu. I'm a group product manager of the Application Testing Suite products. Here is today's agenda. There are three products in Application Testing Suite, Oracle Functional Testing, Oracle Load Testing, and Oracle Test Manager. We will go through them one by one in this presentation. So once again, what is Application Testing Suite? Application Testing Suite consists of three separate but integrated products. The first product we have is Oracle Functional Testing, which we usually call this product OpenScript. OpenScript provides automated functional and regression testing for web-based applications. This is also where you create your load testing scripts. So this is a functional testing tool, while it is also a load testing script generator. The second product we have is Oracle Load Testing, which provides automated load and performance testing. So once you create your load testing script, you can bring that script onto Oracle Load Testing and run hundreds and thousands of concurrent virtual users against the application. And while doing the load test, you can monitor the application's backend structure, such as web server, application server, and database server, and also the operating systems such as Windows or Linux that host those applications and collect performance metrics and store into the Oracle database so that you can later use them to identify the bottleneck of the application. And finally, there is Oracle Test Manager that allows you to manage your test cases and requirements and track defects that are found during the testing. So here's Oracle Functional Testing. Oracle Functional Testing is also called OpenScript. The reason is because it is not just a functional testing tool, but also it is a load testing script generator. So either you are going to do a functional testing or load testing, this is the tool that you'll be using to create your script. OpenScript provides specific custom accelerators, which are basically the script templates. We have accelerators for Oracle package applications, such as eBiz and Suite, Seabell applications, JD Edwards, Fusion ADF, and others. And we'll see this more in the next slide. And the UI capture is shown in the screen. OpenScript is a GUI application. You can create and debug your scripts using the graphical user interface. You do not need to have a deep knowledge of the scripting language to create most of your scripts. On the other hand, the underlying script language is pure Java. So if you are comfortable writing code, especially Java, you can flip the UI to show the code base interface and write any Java code to extend the scripts. And actually, OpenScript is built on top of Eclipse Foundation. So if you have expertise using Eclipse, then you can use all features Eclipse AIDE provides to create and debug your load test and functional testing script. However, most of the case, the advanced knowledge in Java is not necessary in order to create test scripts. You can do most of the configuration using the graphical user interface. And OpenScript is apparently integrated with Oracle Load Testing. You can bring the script to the Oracle Load Testing and simulate the load to run any number of concurrent virtual users to test the application performance under load. OpenScript is integrated with Oracle Test Manager, which is our test management tool. So you can take your functional testing script to put them on Oracle Test Manager and run the script as a part of the test plan and store the test result onto the Oracle database. This diagram shows the list of accelerators available in OpenScript for the current 2.2 release. Besides the core module, Web HTTP, that works with any web-based applications, we have accelerators that work especially with the Oracle package applications such as Seabill applications, EBS and Suite, Forms applications, Fusion ADF or JD Edwards applications, Hyperion, and PeopleSoft applications. And they are built on top of the Web HTTP testing module. When you select these acceleration modules, OpenScript provides pre-configured APIs and correlation libraries that are designed specific to these applications, in addition to the basic capabilities of the web HTTP module provides. So basically, this is an option that essentially makes your scripting life much easier 
because it provides better script automation that reduces your manual work as a result. Please keep in mind, however, OpenScript supports any web-based applications as long as they run in web browsers or deployed as SOAP-based web services. These accelerators are just an additional capability built on top of that. The next product is Oracle Load Testing. If you are to do the load testing, the first thing you need to do is to create a load testing script in OpenScript. Once you are done with that step, the next thing you want to do is to run a load test. You can bring the script to Oracle Load Testing product and configure it as a part of the, your load testing scenario. Here are some of the key features in Oracle Load Testing. It provides a realistic load testing. What realistic here means is that the transaction is based on the browser navigation which you do during the recording. So whatever you do on the browser will become a transaction and that transaction is recorded into the script and that is a script which is going to be executed in the load testing. And it allows you to scale up to thousands of concurrent virtual users to simulate the peak load conditions. So basically what you can do here is you can simulate a situation that a certain number of users doing a certain type of transactions that you would see in the production. And it delivers an accurate load by performing validation against the contents returned from the server. This means we are not just sending HTTP requests, but actually checking the contents returned from the server to make sure the right page is coming back. And Oracle Load Testing has a built-in server monitoring capability. During the load test, you can monitor the performance metrics from the back-end application structure. You can monitor how the application server is doing or database server is doing, whether the CPU in the system is overloaded or memory is overconsumed. You can gather those information and store it into the Oracle database. So looking at the report, you could get an understanding of where the bottlenecks may reside within the underlying infrastructure under load. The session reports can be shown in HTML or with the flex-based graphical reports, both for the real-time and post runs. Here is a diagram of Oracle load testing architecture. When you install application testing suite, you'll see three core components installed, ATS server, ATS database, and ATS agent. OLT controller and OLT server stats modules run within the WebLogic server and stores session data into the Oracle database. When you start the load test, OLT controller communicates with the agent process. You can run more than one agent process and distribute across the multiple agent systems. And the agent process launches virtual users. And virtual users execute scripts. And that is a script which includes the transactions that you recorded by navigating through the browser, which is a realistic scenario. This way, you can run realistic multiple concurrent users to the application to simulate the peak load condition. When server stats monitors are enabled, Oracle load testing will collect performance metrics from the hardware and the software on the application under load. Agent process then return the gather's information to the OLT controller and OLT controller stores that information into the Oracle database. We have Oracle XE database shipped with the application testing suite, but you can also use Oracle database 10G or 11G enterprise or standard edition for the production use. Restricted use license of Oracle database also comes with the application testing suite. The third product is Oracle Test Manager. Oracle Test Manager is our test management product. In the product concept, Oracle Test Manager has five integrated modules that provide complete test process management. They are test plan, test requirements, test cases, test executions, and issues. In the user interface, they are represented in different tabs. Using these tabs, you can design test process in the test plan tab based on the specific test requirements, manage and define test cases, and manage the execution of those test cases in the test execution tab. 
and finally in the Issues tab you can document and track defects. As you can see in the screen, Oracle Test Manager is a web-based application that runs within a browser. So just like Oracle Load Testing, Oracle Test Manager runs on top of the WebLogic server and stores its data onto the centralized repository, which is the Oracle database. So basically, it allows you to manage your test modules and link them together so that you can keep track on the test status. You can execute both manual and automated tests. You can run manual tests using your eyes and hands, or you can run functional testing script, which was created by OpenScript. You can also schedule to run the test without attending in person. Oracle Test Manager provides a default set of predefined user roles and UI fields, but they are customizable. You can create your own set of user roles and UI fields that best go with your organization needs. It also provides prepackaged reports that are also customizable on your preference. This diagram shows how the different test modules are integrated within Oracle Test Manager. The first module in the left side is the test plan. In the test plan, you will define how you design the test flow for a specific feature of the product based on specific test requirements. You may have multiple test requirements for a single test plan. And each of the test requirements can have multiple test cases associated. And you may want to execute selected test cases together as a batch process. If any issues found by executing the test cases, then they need to be documented and tracked. So Oracle Test Manager allows you to define, manage these test modules and links them together so that you can keep track on the testing status. For more on ATS products, please visit Oracle Application Testing Suite video training series in Oracle Learning Library. This is the end of the video recording of Application Testing Suite introduction. Thank you for listening.